Okay, guys, I believe we are live. I did get connect disconnected from the server there, but hopefully we are live. It looks like we're in the pistol round, so I do apologize for bringing you all in a tiny bit late there. That wasn't obviously my plan, but I got disconnected from the server as they were going live. But it looks like everything is good to go. First pistol round is going to go in favor of Titan here. The French going up against the Spanish, and we should all be ready now. So I do apologize about that. Apparent, okay, so uh, it's the CSGO Lounge admins. So it's, it's, they've not updated. So basically what happened is CSGO Lounge just said that we were supposed to be covering Alternate versus Mayhem, which we were, that is correct. Um, but then we decided to switch because more people wanted to watch the Titan game a couple of hours ago. I updated people about it. We changed on HLTV, letting HLTV know that we were going to switch over to that. And here we find ourselves on season with Titan going up against Wizards. So hopefully the volumes are okay. Hopefully everything is good. But please stop asking. And thank you, Skader, if that's your name. I do appreciate the support as well. You can see at the top what's going on. There are other streams which are covering the alternate match. If you do want to go and watch the alternate match, please feel free to go and head over there. But I'm just going to get on with this game. Mods, Dispathy, you are a legend. I'm sure that you can sort out all the trolls in the chat going on about it. So I'm going to leave it up to the mods to go on about that and have fun casting this game. Of course, because Titan did win the first round. They are going to have to eco here, but they're already in a spot of bother. Masamban has been able to pick up that gun. Sorry, let me just turn on auto direct for you guys. Make sure that we're completely set up here. Titan took the first pistol round pretty convincingly on the T side, but now they're in a spot of bother. It's NBK, the clutch man himself, and existence, or NB King, is actually, he seems to have been dubbed. Going up against Flippini, who's actually on 1 HP, and he's going to be able to pick up existence there. MBK is going to respond. He's going to be able to get a 1 versus 4 clutch. We're about to find out. He gets the second. He's going to get taken down, though, and Wizards answer back. So, now, this is an interesting uh, game that we've got going on here, guys, because Titan, uh, not last night, but the night before, they played Virtus Pro on this map, and MBK looked so, so strong. He really did look phenomenal. And he managed to take uh, the game with his French squad with a total score of 16-12 to 12 against Virtus Pro. And Wizards won against Virtus Pro just the other day on 16-10, which some people said was an update. Uh, sorry, an upset. Some people said that it wasn't an upset whatsoever. Well, not whatsoever, but it wasn't an upset because Wizards are a strong squad. And they're already proving it considering the fact that even though they were on an eco there in that second round, they're able to look strong and take it actually quite dominant. Now Titan are forced onto an eco, so one Glock and four, well, sorry, two Glocks and three P250s is going to be the name of the game in this round anyway for Titan. We've got two Famuses, an AK-47, an M4, and a P2000, I think that could be, if the Sandman does get knocked down. So it's already a four and three situation here on season, but I hope you guys are having a good evening. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I do apologize for not giving you the scheduled game, but... I'm not going to keep on going on about it. We decided to switch a few hours ago. We let HLTV know. It's just that it wasn't managed to be updated on CSGO Lounge. So there we go. Oh, screen with a nice headshot there onto Lowell. That's going to make it a one on two. So even though Titan were forced onto the eco, they've made it close. And Scream is going to be able to pick up that M4 dropped by Lowell. He is going to find another one. Is Scream going to get the one versus three clutch? He saw that flash grenade, he knows the bomb down there, and he's going to be able to pick himself up an AK-47. He's got the HP advantage once again, and he has been able to pick up the gun. Uh, sorry, the bomb even. He knows where that player is, and he's decided to pull out that P250, and I am not quite sure why. He pulled it out at just the wrong time. Flippini's going to be able to pick that up, and that's going to mean the score is 2-1 to Wizards. Titan were very, very, very close indeed. To being able to take that eco round. But Wizards take the lead for the first time in the game. Titan are going to force up here. For, uh, three AK-47s, two Galils. Going up against two Famuses and Orp in the hands of Masamban. When I watched him the other day, he was pretty deadly with that gun. And got an M4 and an AK as well for Flippini and Kerry. Respectively, Masamban is going to spot them though in a second if they do decide to come through that room. Of course, X-Ray Mode letting us know where they are. And they're starting to push in towards A here. There's going to be two players left on B for Wizards. So they're going to have to rotate. Especially as Scream has been able to get that initial pick. As has Existence taking out Mason. Leaving it at 5 versus 3. 
existence, just watching the flank, making sure that nobody's be going to be coming from mid at the second. The bomb has been planted. Titan have complete control of the A bomb site as it stands. Our wizard's going to get their third run on the board. We're about to find out if they can get a good start here. Lowell is going to be able to pick up Scream. That's going to help them a tiny bit. Still got a long road ahead of them. And as we do know, the bomb has been planted as well, which does mean that they've got only a few seconds left on the clock. The time is ticking down. Lowell is going to respond once again. They're taking out Shocks. He's going to get another one. Oh my gosh, this guy's on fire at the second. And the man advantage is now in favor of Wizards, but they are not going to challenge. The bomb is going to blow up. No time left. They're going to save their weapons, and rightly so. And of course, what's that done is that even though Titan have won the round, they are going to have money to buy once again. It's forced those players, which, they, which he took out, to have to buy again. Smith hasn't got much in the bank, so I'm not sure if he's going to be able to get anything. He's only got $2,000, so he's going to stay on that Glock by the looks of things. They've got four AK-47s otherwise, but Lowell there, with that all, shut them down in good fashion. 2-2 two -two it is, though, all even between these two squads. It could be quite an even game by the looks of things. It'll be interesting to see who takes the lead and where is it going to go. Of course, that mid-control is so essential on a map like season but the CTs look like they're playing this pretty aggressively I think it's Flippini yes it was Invent he's going to get taken down though there's another player which is Mason who's pushed up quite aggressively just by the looks of the map from what I can see Sandman just going to be peeking at the second towards mid to see if anybody's going to be pushing through there shots going down existence is going to take out one but Sandman answers back onto screen though making it a three on four still in favor of the French Lowell is only on a pistol though, so that's not going to play much dividends. Masamban misses a shot, gets punished for it, gets taken down to 59 HP. Scream, the only casualty here for Titan as it stands. Yeah, yeah I'm afraid it's not my fault, guys, that we're not covering the game, which CSGO Lounge said. So I do apologize about that, but please don't put it on me. Kerry is going to find some players there. He is going to try and get a flashbang down as well to distract them, to give himself some cover. He hit a couple of shots, didn't pick up any kills though. It's still 4 and 3, no frags for quite a while. Lowell's going to meet two players here with his P250. Shoxy just about shuts him down though. Shoxy is down to 17 HP. Bomb has been planted. Smith is going to find that player. It's all going to be up to Kerry, but he knows that there's nothing much that he can do here. He is going to get spotted by MBK. He does get taken down with a headshot. It's 3 2. Titan managed to regain their lead. They took the first pistol round before Wizards replied with a crazy eco. And now Titan are starting to pick themselves up after that. So, having a look at the buy situation, Wizards not in a great situation whatsoever. They've got one Deagle by the looks of things, two 257s, uh, CZ75 in the mix as well. Do not worry, guys. Everybody's still going on about alternate. If this is going to cause this much of a hassle, we're never going to switch games again. We switched quite a few hours ago. We put it on HLTV quite a few hours ago that we were switching as well. But if it's just going to cause this much hassle for you all, we won't bother to switch again. We just wanted to do what we thought the, the viewers would want and what they told us earlier on. They said that they wanted Titan. So we're going to give them Titan. Carey with a nice one dig down onto MBK. That's a big player to shut down off the start. Is he going to get another one? Yes, he does. Second one D taking out Smith. Existence finally able to shut him down. Shock is going to get another one there onto Mason. So three on three, but two casualties for Titan with that Deagle. Which looks so strong there. Wasn't able to get any more, unfortunately. Existence is going to start to clean up here. Pulls out his clock just at the wrong time. Flippini's going to try and answer. Scream is going to help out Existence there. Leaving Lowell, the last one left alive with his 5-7. He's on B at the second, and the bomb is going to start to go towards there as well by the looks of things. So is he going to be able to pull off a crazy clutch? He's going to try. He does pick up one. He picks up two as well, taking out Scream in existence. Is he going to be able to get the third? Oh my gosh! How did he just do that? This is Titan we're on about, and they had three AK-47s. And on 22 HP, he gets the 1v3 clutch with a 5-7. What happened there, Titan? They looked so strong on this map the other day against Virtus Pro. And then suddenly, Wizards on an eco shut them down. Two kills with a Deagle, two, three kills, a hat trick in a 1 versus 3 clutch with a 5 7. F uh, Titan are still able to buy, though. Smith's forced down to a Deagle, but uh, AK 47s and Galil's otherwise, pretty much. And that was amazing. If that doesn't want to make you stay and watch this game, guys, I'm not really too sure what will. 
So I can apologise day in and day out for not bringing you the game which we were originally this morning going to cast and changed a few hours ago. But when plays like that happen, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be apologising too much. Existence is going to find Mason though, gets the first kill on the board. They are pushing towards A, let's see what they can do. Is Masan Man going to be able to stop them with his AWP? Misses a shot there, has to back away. Gary is in vent at the second. Smith is going to be able to get lower with his Deagle there, so no more crazy plays from him. So four versus three as it stands, and the bomb has been planted at A. Titan looks so strong on this bomb site. They've been able to plant it with ease so far from what I've seen, but at that same time, Wizards winning two eco rounds so far, just in the first six from what we've seen so far. Flippini's going to push through, manages to get two. That Smith and screen down. It's all going to be left up to existence and Shoxy, and there that we go. They do get taken down once again. Have they got enough time to defuse? Yes, they do. 4 3 it is. Wizards take the lead again. Counter Terrace in the lead. Looks like he's not going to pick up that AK 47 by the looks of things. And having a look at the money, Titan, are they going to force this up? Shoxy's decided to, yes. So they are going to buy. They've got about $3,000 average between them, I would say. So they should be able to go here. And let's have a look and see what's going on in the scoreboard overall. Lowell's having a great game. 10 and 5 for him. Mason still hasn't got a kill. Yet Wizards are actually in the lead. So they are definitely not one to count out here against Titan. I was going to put my money on Titan. Well, put my bets on Titan. But you never quite know in Counter-Strike. Scream is only down to a pistol. So he's not bought anything. Three Galils and an AK-47. So it is still possible. And that's going to help them. They have got clear access onto A once again. Although Lowell, the man of the hour, who's really been impressing so far in the first eight rounds, picks up another frag. Masamban's going to find one there. Takes down Shoxi. And for the first time in the eighth round, they do have the man advantage. But as soon as I say that, existence answers back once again. Bomb's going to get planted on A. Wizards took this... The uh, bomb site so well in the last round, completely clearing out Titan and getting the defuse. Are they going to be able to do it again? They've got the gun advantage, they've got the HP advantage as well. So it's definitely possible for them to be able to do this, and that's going to help. Masamban with another AWP kill. Gary's going to try and push through and see if he's going to spot anybody. Taking it very slowly. Now he starts to push forward. MBK is going to get taken out. Existence left on 55 HP. He's going to get taken down as well. Is he going to be able to get this? Yes, close to the wire once again, second time in a row. Pretty much a repeat of the last round for Wizards. Titan managed to push into the A bomb site, get the bomb down relatively quickly. But Wizards didn't really bother them too much. They're happy with taking over that bomb site. And Titan need to do some more defensive work once they get the bomb down. Because that's, as I say, two rounds in a row where Wizards have just taken over, been able to get the defuse. Yeah, it's been a tight call, but still. AK-47 still in the hands of Titan though, so they've not had to eco yet, although I probably imagine if they lose this one they will have to. So this is going to be a big round already here for Titan. Let's see what they're going to do. They're pushing towards B now, so they've switched things up. Mid control looks like it's going to be in favour of Wizards from what I can see at the second. Oh, we're getting taken down to 74 HP, but he responds taking down existence to 3 HP so now existence has to be very 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 careful indeed it'd be interesting to see if he's going to swap that AK with a Galil of Smith there just to give Smith the the you know the better weapon whether that's going to be a possibility whether they even play that Shoxy does get taken down there MBK with two headshots into Kerry and Flippini Mason's going to find a player there he does take out existence it's a three on three MBK is down to 46 HP the bomb has been planted at B so two rounds in a row Wizards have been able to take over bomb sites it's been both on A so far now they've got to switch things up try and take B oh, MBK's in trouble now he's on 4 HP he's the last one left alive no it's not it's going to be Scream in a one versus two against Mason and Lowell he's got to be careful here he has been spotted he does get one is he going to be able to get the second as well? He's got the HP advantage and the bomb's been planted as well. But Mason looked like he was going for the fake defuse. Scream in a 1 versus 2 clutch. Picks it up. It's a bit too close for comfort here for Titan. Wizards are looking very, very strong indeed. And by the looks of things, Wizards may eco this one. They haven't got much money. And I think they will. They're more than happy to at the second. The only player who's going to get anything really is going to be Carey. We did drop a deagle there, I do think. And they're just switching about, making sure everything's happy. So Carrie's got a deagle. CZ75 in there as well. 257s. 
Smith still with a pistol at the second, but he seems to be more than happy with that. Now, Wizards took an eco round against Titan earlier on. Are they going to be able to do it again here in the 10th round? We're about to find out. It'll be interesting to see what Titan do, whether they can shut them out quickly or whether it's going to come right down to the wire. Uh... Oh, Shock Z with two onto Laurel and Masamban. Great work from him. Kerry has been able to pick up an AK-47 after taking out MBK, though. Flippini's going to be on the site. Smith shuts him down with one headshot. Smith is going to get a second. Doesn't really matter what gun this man has in his hands. He's so strong with it anyway. And Kerry looks like he's just happy to save his AK-47, and rightly so. Titans should go hunting for him, though. They've been able to plant A, so that's four rounds in succession that they've successfully, successfully been able to plant the bomb. The first two, they lost. The second two, they've been able to win, though. Gary just hiding though. They are going to try and hunt him down. You can see those T's on the map getting very, very close to him. Smith's just around the corner. Is he going to be able to see them? Oh, yes, yeah, Smith shuts him down with the CZ75 there. So he's not going to be able to save that AK-47. And into the 11th round we go, guys. 5-5 five, five is your score. All even between these two squads. Saw a very close game, as I said, between Virtus Pro and Titan on this map the other day. 16-12 was your final score. And Wizards versus Virtus Pro on Inferno the other day as well ended 16-10 in favour of Wizards, which a lot of people didn't expect. But I'm sure the people who did put their money and their skins on Wizards were very, very happy men. So let's see where the bomb's going to go this time into the 11th round now. Both teams able to buy up more than happily. And ODS shouldn't have been banned in the chat. It was a misclick. So you should be good to go now, ODS. It was a mistake. Bomb heading up mid at the second. MBK is going to find two. He takes down Kerry. He's going to be able to take down the second player. Tries to go for the pre far Gets the spray into Flippini. Sorry. Mixing up my articulation. <laughs> two M4s and a fam ass left for the Spanish team. Five AK-47s as you can see, obviously. Four Titan. Bomb still in mid at the second. Bomb carrier was uh, Smith. It was on the screen a second ago. Sandman's going to find one player, though. Takes MBK down to 72 HP before backing away from that. And rightly so. Got one player on B, although he's going to be rotating back at the second. Two on A. Is it going to play dividend? Smith tries to get through. Smith with two. Screen with another one. That's going to be 6-5. Titan regain the lead for the first time in a couple of rounds. And they look strong there. They only took one casualty. Which I believe was actually Shoxy by the looks of things. So who are you guys supporting? Who do you want to win this game? Are you a French fan? Are you a Spanish fan? Are you completely neutral like myself? Are you just happy to be watching some Counter-Strike action? Wizards forced down to an eco though. Two CZ75s. That's all that they can really play with. Doesn't look like they're going to be able to play with much whatsoever. Mason with the only take onto Smith so far. Is he going to be able to get more? Yes, he does, actually. So that's looking good. Not too bad. That gun can really deal some damage. Of course, the latest addition to the Counter-Strike Arsenal. Existence down on 20 HP at the second. Shoxy does reply, though. Taking out Kerry. It's all going to be left up to Mason. He does pick up a hat-trick, though. Taking out Shoxy. MBK is going to say, I don't care what you get. I'm still going to challenge you anyway. You can get your hat-trick. Not going to make much of a difference to us. 7-5. Titan with a two-round lead. Heading into round number 13. Titan. Lots of Titan fans. Exactly what I expected. And it looks like we may have a pause. Either we have a pause or my game is frozen. Let me have a look and see what's going on. I think we've got a pause going in, guys. So I'm just going to find out for you. And I'll be back in a second. But uh, you want the in-game volume up, do you? Okay. I thought it was okay. Nobody else really complaining about it. But if you would like it up, I can turn it up a tiny bit for you. And then you can let me know if that's any better. So, again. There we go. We're back in the game. So we should hopefully be able to go now without any more issues. I'm not quite sure what was going on there. But hopefully we are all... All right here, heading into round number 30. No more pauses if we can try and help it for you guys. Mason's going to open the door to see if he can spot anybody. And he is. Existence going down. First casualty for the French team. And, uh, that's an incendiary grenade going down to try and slow down any pushes going towards there. 
Titan making their way in towards A. They've been very, very good so far in this game at being able to take A. Are they going to be able to do that again? It's going to be more difficult, obviously, with existence down, but they can still do it. If there's any team who can do it, it's going to be Titan. And they're making a lot of noise over there. So it'll be interesting to see if Wizards are going to start to rotate. By the looks of things, it is. They are only leaving one player on B at the second. That bomb's changing its course. They're taking it a bit more slowly now. MBK's going to respond. That's a 4-on-4. Four four. Big first kill from him. MBK played so well on this map the other day. He got about three or so hat-tricks, if not more. But it's not going to help him now as he gets taken down by an AWP. And he also got a 1 versus 3 clutch as well in that map, which was just nasty. It was completely dirty. It's going to be left up to Scream and Shoxy, though. Scream down to 14 HP. We've seen this time and time again on this map today. Where Titan were able to get into the... A bomb site. They got the bomb down as well, but then they weren't able to do anything more. Musanban's going to go for the defusers. Filipini covers him. Shoxi is going to go down, and that's at least the third time that Titan have pushed A, got the bomb down, and Wizards just do not care, and they get the defuse. It looks like we may have another pause in, though, so hopefully that gets sorted again. And just to remind everybody once again, because it still seems to be going in the chat. I know CSGO Lounge says that we were supposed to be doing Alternate versus Mayhem, but the mod's in there. The admins didn't change it to Titan versus Wizards, which we have here. Which is what we've put on HLTV. And what we will be covering for the rest of the evening, obviously. So I do apologise about that, but nothing I can do. I'm just going to wait to see what's going on with this pause. Hopefully it shouldn't be too long. Hopefully it's just a quick error which we can get back into the game with. So I may go for a quick break just waiting to see what's going to happen with it. Hopefully it's not going to be too long. But hopefully you guys are having a nice evening anyway. Enjoying yourselves. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys haven't heard of me before, which I'm sure some of you hadn't. My name is Chewy. I am not Kyanite. Kyanite is away at the minute. He's on a train somewhere once again. Which means that I'm left solo casting. Which I don't mind doing whatsoever. So guys, I'm just going to wait and see what's going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mute my mic, put some music on very quickly whilst this pause goes on, and then I'll see what happens. See if I can get back into the game or see what's going to happen in a few seconds' time. But it looks like it's just a normal pause, but I'll let you know in a second. So just some music on in the meantime, and I'll mute my microphone as well and see what's going to happen. And then as soon as the pause comes out, we'll get on with the next round. So, that was quick. Looks like we're already ready to, good to go. 6-7 is your score. That was a very quick pause. I just disconnected from the server and connected back in again. 6-7 it is. Of course, we did see Wizards for at least the third time manage to take over that A-bomb site once the bomb was planted. And let's see where the T-Squad go now. It looks like they're going to be heavily pushing towards B. It would be interesting to see if they're going to try and get in there quickly with flashes and the like and get that bomb down quickly or what they're going to do, whether they're going to wait for those picks. Masanman's been great with the AWP so far from what we've seen. Let's see if he's going to be able to get any more. But they're not going to be near anybody at the second, so thank you, Auto Director, for changing things up. And the bomb was heading towards B. Now it's heading towards mid. Lowell's going to be there, though. He's going to be able to pick up existence. Once again, I do apologise if I'm pronouncing any names wrong for the Wizards squad. I'm not too sure how you pronounce all of them. Tyler getting shut down pretty easily here, though, from what we've seen in this round. Although Scream does respond. MBK is going to get another one as well. So as soon as I do say that, the commentator's curse comes in big and Titan respond, taking out two in a row. MBK down to 23 HP. Kerry's going to take him out. Now it's a two versus three. Scream and Smith. They're on to B. He should be able to get the bomb down here. And Auto Director, why are you putting us on A? Thank you very much. Let's see if they're going to let Titan plant the bomb. It doesn't look like they are. Mason's going to try and push through, pushing Smith down to 7 HP. And we should be 7-7 after this. An incendiary grenade finishes off Smith. Carey finishes off screen with a headshot. 7-7. It's all even here going into the last round of the half. So this is going to be a big round. 
in my opinion anyway I mean obviously the pistol round's going to be big as well in the second half but you know whoever goes into the lead in the second half is going to have that slight momentum boost over the squad who loses this round Lowell is not in the best situation though although well he is able to buy now but he didn't have much money in the bag maybe somebody dropped for him I'm not quite sure or maybe he just had it anyway in front of him and he dropped it but I didn't quite see 4 AK 47s in the Galil for the T squad the French squad of Titan and the bomb's going through mid again. There's only one player towards A. Smith is already the first casualty. Existence is going to respond though. Revenge kill. Carry does get existence though. So it's revenge kills across the map by the looks of things. Carry flashes. Pushes in. Flashes scream. Takes a lot of shots. Eventually finishes him up. After being flashed and missing a load of his shots as well. It's going to be left up to shocks in a 1 versus 4. And Wizard should win 2 on the trot. Or was it three? At least two on the trot. And be able to go into the lead at the end of the first half. And that's exactly what they've done. So, after 15 rounds, the score is 8-7 to Wizards. Who's your money on, guys? Who is all of your skins on? And uh, what's happened is my game has crashed. So, I'm very quickly going to have to exit out, guys. Because what happens is at the half time in some servers, it decides to crash. But it will literally give me two seconds before... I just restart the game, so give me two seconds. I do apologize about that. Hopefully not everything else is and then we should be good to go. Nothing I can do about it, guys. It's just the way it is. It just decides to crash. I'll load up CSGO again and connect straight back into the server. But if you are just joining us, it was 8-7 in favor of Wizards at the halftime. And I do apologize about the crash, but nothing I can do. Let's get straight back in. Whoops, I just clicked the wrong thing. I'm having a nightmare now. Let's get back into the game. So, it is half time. Spaniards leaving. Leaving? Leading, even. Hopefully nothing's happened in the pistol round. Hopefully we've missed nothing. It looks like there are some shots down, and unfortunately we have missed... I know we haven't missed anything. There we go. All good to go. Look at that timing. Chewy times that perfectly. I don't know why the game crashes at half time there. It does for other people as well. I think it happens with Anders. And I'm not quite sure why. Um... It's annoying as hell, but there's not much really that I can do about it. I just have to restart the game, get back into the server quickly, and we are all good to go. Now, this is going to be a big pistol round because, I mean, if things go by the script, if Wizards win the first pistol round, they should be able to take the two rounds after that, which would, of course, put them on 11-7 to 7 against Titan and... I mean, Titan wouldn't be too worried about that in normal circumstances, but uh, Wizards have looked very strong here so far. Titan looked great on this map the other day. It was back and forth between them and Virtus Pro. It's back and forth between them and Wizards here, as you can see. So this is going to be a big pistol round. If Titan can take this. They should take the lead. Sandman's going to try and find a player there. Still no casualties left yet. Sorry, with 1 minute 8 seconds left on the clock. Everybody just taking it cautiously. Nothing too much happening. And for some reason, the mini map has actually disappeared. So I can't see where anybody's going to be pushing the map. It looks like the T's are over. On to A at the second. Everybody's taking damage. Kerry needs to try and get that bomb down. And he has been able to do so. So now it's all up to Titan to try to push in. And they've got the man disadvantage. It's Exist, Scream, and NBK. They've got to try and do something quickly here. Kerry's on 51 HP. So two versus three, he's going to turn, he gets screamed, he's going to pick up the final one. They know exactly where MBK is. This should be 9-7. It is 9-7 to the Spaniards. And Titan, I mean, again, they've been a bit hot and cold. So, I mentioned the game against Virtus Pro the other day. And then, straight after that match, it was El Clasico, as some people have dubbed it. It was Dust 2 with... Uh, Nip versus Titan. And Titan won it 16 to 2. They decimated Nip. And then yesterday, once again, Titan played versus Pro and lost 16 5. I can't quite remember what map that was on, but they lost quite convincingly. Smith is going to go down already. So Titan a bit hot and cold. They're winning convincingly, then losing convincingly. And now we will see what they're going to be able to do here on an eco. This is where things kind of switched up because Titan won the first pistol round and then uh, Wizards responded. On their eco round. Are Titan going to do the same here in the second half? Ugh, you never know really. You never know. 
And the real trouble is, is that they've got three on A, whilst the bomb's being pushed towards B. And that's going to give them a clear entry onto B there. As do you see MBK going down? And Titan are nowhere to be seen. Wizards are going to try and push through here. They are successfully going to be able to get onto B. You know, checking all the corners, but there was absolutely no need. As they full Titan completely, they switched the bomb sites, got the bomb down on B. That's obviously going to give them even more money. And now Shoxy, Existence and Scream. I mean, they are going to try and do something by the looks of things, but they're not going to be able to do much here whatsoever. It's a three on five. They've got no guns, just three P250s. You can see two of them saving already. And the only person nearby is going to be Shoxy, but he's not going to be able to do anything. You wouldn't have thought whatsoever. Ten seven wizards on double figures. Titan three rounds behind. They are gonna. Are they gonna force up here? Shocks. He's decided to. Well, he's picked up a Galil actually, so he's picked that up off the floor. But no, the rest of them have got absolutely nothing. So it's just P two fifties once again, and a P two thousand. I do believe just one rifle for the French squad. But that's a great grenade. Whoever managed to do that towards mid, existence and scream are gonna go down there by Mason. Is he gonna get the hat trick? Puts down a lot of spray. He does indeed. He's on 5 HP. But it doesn't matter. As he's been able to get Smith's existence and Scream. All in the space of a few seconds. And it's all again up to Shoxy and MBK. One on B. One over towards A. And for the second time in a row. Wizards are pushing towards B. MBK in a great spot though. He's going to find a player there. Does take out the Sandban. No more though. Carey gets the revenge kill. And it's all up to Shoxy. He's going up behind them. So let's see if he can spot anybody. Mason's going to find them quickly as that gets the headshot. They are going to get the bomb plant as well. Which is obviously going to give them some more money. And 11-7 is your score. Wizards five round away. From taking down Titan here on season. Who would have thought it? Well you say that. Wizards have been impressing recently, and you can never quite tell in Counter-Strike anything can happen. And this is the thing guys, you know, we talked about it a lot, about the Alternate Mayhem game. I know that was what was listed on CSGO Lounge, I know there's a lot of you wondering where it was. We changed it a couple of hours ago, as I've mentioned about 50 billion times. HRTV updated it, CSGO Lounge did not, unfortunately, nothing I can do about it. People wanted Titan, we're bringing them Titan, but Titan need to bring it. Because they're four rounds down here. They have been able to buy. And NBK has got an AWP. Which is interesting. But uh, we'll see what he can do with it. And they're actually pushing really aggressively here down towards mid. They've got control of it. Still no casualties yet here in the 19th round. But I'm liking the way that Titan are playing this. They were on the back foot. Now they're trying to get on the front foot by pushing forward quite far. The only player who's back towards spawn is, I think, MBK with that AWP looking towards B. The rest are over towards A. They've got control of it at the second. Although you can see the bomb starting to rotate into there. Smith is going to meet a few players in a second. Kerry's going to meet one as well. He has spotted him there towards mid. Put shots down. Only gets about 20, 30 make that into the screen that was. He does get the grenade as well in there. And let's see what's going to happen. It looks like the push is going to come in towards A. The CTs are going to be there to meet them. Screen gets one. Lowell answers back, taking out existence. But this is already looking good for Titan here. But saying that, it's only a three on two. The Sandman's going to get one. He's going to get two as well. And now suddenly, this is what's so great about Wizards, is they can just turn any situation in their favour. It says Galil against the AWP. And NBK, the clutch man himself, gets two with the AWP and takes it over. That is why Titan are one of the best teams in the world. He hasn't got a kit. He's got plenty of time to defuse, though. It doesn't even matter. And NBK with the one versus two clutch. He got a quad on this map the other day. He got about three hat tricks, including a one versus three clutch. And wow, NBK. But yes, please feel free to update scores, guys, for the Mayhem alternate match. I know that's what some of you came here to see originally. So you are more than welcome to keep updating with scores for that. But more people wanted Titan, as I said, so we're giving them Titan. And when MBK pulls off one versus two clutches with an AWP on the bomb site like that, no wonder more people want to see them. 
So, it looks like the T's are firmly heading towards B from what we can see at the second. Are they going to try and push in there quickly? It looks like they are. Flash grenades going down. They're wondering if Titan have pushed aggressively as they did in the last round. Again, here in round number 20. Not the case, though, as yet. Titan have control of mid. They've got one on B. They've got one on A as well. No casualties as of yet with one minute, ten seconds left to go on the clock. Now the push comes in towards B. Flash grenades, smoke grenades, the lot going in there. Titan are going to be aware of it, and they're starting to close down on them. Let's see who's going to get the first kill. Once again, it's going to be Scream. Scream with two. Scream almost gets three. Does get taken down. Shoxy responds with two of his own. And it's all going to be left up to Musanban. He is going to find MBK. And for the second time in a row, MBK finishes up the round with his AWP. Looking strong here. Finally on the CT side, Titan. Round number 21. It's 19... Sorry, it's 11 to 9. I do apologise. And it should be 11 to 10 because Wizards are on, a, on an eco. But uh, we've seen them win an eco before. Can they do it again? We'll have to see. And this is what I love about Titan is that a lot of them can play with that AWP. You know, we all know who's the typical AWP for Titan. But MBK's been having it in the past two rounds. And he's been doing great work. And now they're switching it up and going over to Smith's. So, really not much to play with here for Wizards, unfortunately. Resistance is going to find them. Picks up two. He's going to get the hat trick. He's taken a lot of damage. He's down to 15 HP. Shoxy comes in. Gets another one. Shoxy comes in and gets two. It's up to Carey. Shoxy with the hat trick. Two with his M4. One with his pistol. Lovely work indeed from him. No casualties from Titan. They're on double figures. He was looking a bit hairy for them earlier on. And now suddenly they've woken up once again. And it's 11-10. Musanban has been able to buy an AWP, though. And AK-47 is in the mix as well. I think Flippini is the only one who's not been able to get anything by the looks of things. Actually, no, he has been able to get an AK-47 as it drops in front of his feet there as soon as I say that. Still not the best buy situation for them, although they've got all the guns that they want. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens. And as you can see, there's going to be three over in that kind of A area, pushing aggressively for the CTs once again. Two on B for Titan. Bomb looks like it's going to be... In mid. Let's see if Scream can spot anybody in Vents. He's going to be able to take down Carey. Lovely shots into him. So man advantage already in favour of Titan. Existence flashes himself momentarily there. But isn't going to find somebody right now. Musamban again looking strong with his AWP. He's going to find that player. Takes down MBK. And it's a four versus four here on season. Very, very, very close game between these two. Exactly what we want to see. It's why we love Counter-Strike these games, which just really do go kind of round by round. It's very difficult to kind of pick a narrative out of it, if that makes any sense. Very difficult to, to be able to predict who's going to take the next round, because both look so strong in their own respects. Bomb still nowhere near a sight of the second, although it looks like it could be heading in towards A. And they've got to make a decision soon on what they're going to do, because Titan have got a good setup. They've got two on A, two on B. The person on B is going to go down. Still nobody rotating, and that's a good decision there from Titan. They could have sent people over there after getting that first kill, but they decided not to. Flashes are going in towards A. Shoxy's too strong. Existence is too strong as well. Shoxy with two there. Existence with the middle kill onto Mason. MBK, the only casualty in that round, thanks to Misanban's AWP. But it's all even. It's 11-11, and Wizards are forced once again down to an eco. Titan are looking very, very, very good now. They were 8-7 down, of course, if you are just joining us at the half. And apparently the score is 12 turn in favour of Mayhem against Alterna. But I hope you guys are enjoying, 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 enjoying joining us. There we go, that's a mouthful. Enjoying joining us here on Kai Knight's channel. As I've said before, my name is Chewy. Bringing you all of the action this afternoon. Unfortunately, this is the only game that I will be covering this evening. I bought you guys Verdus Pro versus LGB earlier on on Dust 2, which finished 16-12, uh, I do believe, in favour of of Virtus Pro, but no more tonight because there are other people who are more than happy to bring you those and there's no real point bringing you those matches as well when there's loads of other people bringing you them, but we will of course be doing more matches as soon as possible. B push coming in though for the T squad. MBK is going to shut down one. Scream with another as well. MBK 
He's so annoyed after going down early in the last round that he picks up another hat trick here and leaves the situations all in the hands of Flapini. He has been able to plant the bomb, so that's going to be good. Come on, auto director, please put us on board with somebody. Thank you. That is going to play good for Wizards in the fact that they managed to get the bomb down on an eco, but still, the diffuse is going to come in with plenty of time left on the clock. And for the first time since before the half time mark, Titan have got the lead. 12 11 it is, but this is still hanging on a thread for both squads. And Musamban, once again, with an AWP in hands, shocks him with his AWP. And just have a look at the money for Titan. Smith has been able to buy an AWP, so that's two AWPs actually for Titan. Smith has got an AWP, a full buy, and he's still got $10,000 left in the bank, so they cannot complain whatsoever. Here we go, into round number 24, if my maths is correct. Terrible at maths, but I hope I've got that right. Shoxy's going to find somebody there. Throws an incendiary grenade down to try and stop any pushes, and a smoke grenade as well to try and give them some cover. Make sure no rushes are going to be coming in. And that player is at the back, which I believe is Scream. Needs to rotate back towards B. That's what he's done. Because there's three on A from Titan. But there's all four. And that last player of Flippini is going to be rotating back towards B now. So it looks like they're firmly going to be pushing in here. They're taking it slow at the second. Two on B, three on A from the CT squad. Now they fired shots. Now they know where they should be pushing. But still, Titan holds strong on A. They're not going to risk anything. There's a couple towards mid, actually, which only leaves one player on B. On that site, at least. And Wizard should be able to take this convincingly if they can push in here quickly. But if they're going to allow Titan to rotate, then it could be a bit more difficult. As you do see Titan now starting to make the move round. But still no casualties here. 35 seconds left, so they need to make a decision. Are Wizards going to play this too slow? Or is the slow push going to pay off? Now it comes in. Now the flash grenades and everything start to roll into the B-bomb site. And they are going to push in. Scream's going to go down. That's a big first kill. He missed shots there. Mason's going to take him. You can see those blue dots starting to rotate through. Mosamban's going to pick up another one. And the slow push so far has worked as Mosamban picks up his second. The bomb's being planted as well. MBK's going to respond if there's anybody to start to clear up. The Spanish squad, it's going to be him. Is Musanman going to get a hat-trick though with his AWP? He misses the shot, so not quite yet. MBK with his second. It's a two versus three as it stands. But the bomb has been planted. So Titan need to start to make a move soon. And they need to try and do something quickly. It doesn't look like it's going to happen. Existence is the last one left alive here. And that slow push from Wizards paid off. Titan rotated too slowly. Well, it's not a case that they rotated too slowly from what I saw. It's just the fact that they didn't know where Wizards were going to push. And suddenly Wizards, after taking it slowly, being pretty quiet, flooded the B-bomb site with loads of flashes and smokes and the like. Won their gunfights, planted the bomb, and took them out in swift fashion. So it's all even here. 20th round. No, sorry, 25th round. I do apologise. My maths. See, I told you it was terrible. Twenty-fifth round, twelve twelve is your score. All even. The Sandman's going to be heading towards B once again. Are um, Wizards going to repeat what they did last time and try and make the same push once again? It looks like they're going to take it a lot slower. But Titan are going to try and counteract it with the fact that they've sent more people. Oh, Musamban just needed to pull the trigger. But Smith shuts him down early. That's a big kill already. MBK in a great spot here to spot Carey. Oh, Flippini just gets shut down by Shoxy with an AWP as well. And that's why that double AWP setup is going to pay off. As all three kills so far in the 25th round have been from the big green gun. Lowell and Mason, the last two left alive. Lowell has been able to pick up an AWP of his own. Shoxy getting taken down at 86 HP. They're going to start to make the push in here. MBK's got to try and support them. He's going to be able to get one. Yes, he is. And the bomb's gone down as well. It's all up to Lowell. He gets taken down. Four out of those five kills there. On a map like Season, we're all orps, so that shows how strong that gun can be on this map. And that is going to force Wizards once again down. Is it going to force them down to an eco? No, it's not. They have got money to buy. I thought it was, but they're going to force it up here. If they lose this round, then they should eco. But we will see. You never quite know. 13 to 12. Two AWP set up still from the French squad. It worked well for them last time. Is it going to work well again for them now? I mean, Sandman's been taking out a 43 HP. That's not good whatsoever for him. And you can see the T's in mid at the second. It looks like they should be heading towards A unless they start to switch things up. But Titan are well aware of it by the looks of things. They've already knocked Musanban and Lowell down to 43 HP and 50 HP respectively.
And it's going to be an ape ship from the T-Squad. Let's see if they can successfully do it. Existence is going to get smoked there, so he backs away from that, and rightly so. He's got Smith there to support with his AWP in hand. And the Samban's been knocked down even further to 19 HP. Smith, you've got to be careful when he starts to get his AWP shot on, because he's going to knock you all out. And he manages to pick up two. Patrick for Smith. Quad for Smiths. Wow. That's how you shut it down. And there we go. We saw four out of five kills with the AWP in the last round. Five out of five kills with the AWP in the 26th round. And that could be the difference between winning the map and losing it. Because Titan are one round away from match point. And they've been able to force the Spanish squad down to pistols. So here we go. Let's see what they're going to do here, Wizards. They've taken an eco before. Are they going to be able to take it again? It's going to be difficult for them. Because they're all on fire. They're going to try and push him to be quickly. MBK with a hat trick. MBK. Oh, Scream managed to just steal his kill there. He's got the hat trick. Scream's going to finish off. Two for Scream. Three for MBK. Titan on match point here against Wizards. And this is exactly what happened for them on this map against Virtus Pro the other day. I've talked about it a lot. And there's a reason why. I've talked about it a lot. Because, I mean, it's... it's it's the same kind of thing that's happened here. It's been a close encounter between the two squads. It's been back and forth. Not really been able to tell who's going to be able to get it. And then suddenly Titan just pull it out of the bag and go big. Wizards have been able to get AK-47s though. They're not all out of this yet. But have a look at what Smith has got. He's been cheeky and gone for an auto sniper. So it's still a, a two sniper setup and three AK-47s for Titan here. And let's see if Wizards are going to be able to push in. They've looked like they can be able to contend with Wizards throughout this entire game. But Wizards on the C uh, sorry, Titan on the CT side have just looked that tiny bit more strong. And they are going to be going towards A once again. Smoke grenades going down. Are they going to be able to push through soon? There's two players on. Well, there's only one player actually on the site at the second. One hanging back, which will be Sox Choxy with that orc. But ex Existence is going to get one. Lowell responds, though. With the revenge kill, it's now a four-on-four four situation. Shoxy does reply though once again. And it's left up to Musamban, Flippini, and Mason. Now it's left up to Flippini and Mason. Come on, auto director. Please put us on board with somebody. I'm just going to switch so that we are on board with somebody. And there we go. Now it's a three-on-two. Two AK-47s for both squad. And then Smith with an auto sniper. He's the man on your screen right now. He's going to see if he can spot anybody over towards A. But have a look at what the T's are doing. They're rotating towards B. MBK should be aware of it though. If he pops out, he's going to spot that player there. Tries to get shots down. Takes down Flippini with a headshot. The last player left alive for Mason. Uh, for Wizards is going to be Mason. He's going to try and plant the bomb at B. And it's do or die here for him. He's still got full HP. And he's going to be able to get one. He's going to get going to be able to get the one versus three clutch if he does that could play absolutely massive here for the Spaniards he's got match on the line here in his hands he's got to try and do something screams gonna spot him gets the flash grenade down he's been taken down he gets shut down as well there final player for wizards going down they're gonna get the diffuse in as well and if you put your skins and bets and everything all the like on to the counter terrorist there of titan you're gonna be a happy Man or lady or child or whatever the hell you class yourself as. As they take the game 16 to 12. So thank you guys so much for joining us. I would be covering more games. Um, but uh, I know that Anders and various other people are covering them all. So I'm going to call it GG's there. And I'm going to go and get some food because I haven't eaten yet today. So I'm going to put on some music for you guys. I think you all know what's going to be coming. And then I will finish out the stream there. So give me just 30 seconds just to send, set it up for you guys. And then we'll be good to go. So thank you so much for joining us. I hope you guys have enjoyed Titan versus Wizards. I know it wasn't the scheduled game originally this morning. And CSGO Lounge decided not to change it. But we did change it on HLTV. And it was Titan versus Wizards there. Titan taking the win. So thank you so much for joining everybody. Mayhem won that game against uh, Alternate Attacks. So there we go. But I'm going to play some music for you guys. I think you know what's going to happen. So let's get some spam in the chat. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again very, very soon with some more Counter-Strike action. My name has been Chewy signing out for the night. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday evening, lovely ladies and gentlemen. And I'll see you again soon. Don't forget to follow myself on Twitter. It's at It's Chewy. Don't forget to follow the stream here and follow Kai Knight, who runs the stream at Reason Gaming TV. 